So just another quick video regarding Visual D-Day 2021 and STEMS. And a question I got, if you could actually have some of the STEM stuff happen automatically on a track. And yes, you can, because you can script it. So as a start, I've uh, created three buttons here with scripts on them. So this one uh, does STEM vocal 50%. Since 50% is 12 o'clock, that'll be full on, but not more than full on. And then the vocal half one over here will be stem vocal 25%. So now if I play a track like this one and cut the vocals in half. Like that. So that's one option. Another option is to use uh, the pads mode, the stem pads. So that's what's going on down here, really. Same thing as going on down here. So the script for that is stem pad vocal. That'll simply be a toggle to turn it on and off. So again, if I play the track, it'll be something like this. So that worked great. But then what about all the automat automatic stuff that I was talking about? Well, for that, you can combine it with the PUI. So if I, for instance, want to cut off the vocals right here, where we are, where we are I can right click it and we get to the POI editor and I can create a new action POI. Name it vocals off. That's an action POI because I want to add script to it. And let's just use it as a marker only. So I put same script, stem pad vocal. So that'll actually toggle it. Uh, but since we assume we are in on mode, it'll turn it off. So save that and go back a little bit. Turn it on so we show it's on and then see if it toggles, uh, if it toggles it off. And it did. So that's what, what we were expecting. Then we of course probably want to turn it back on again. It doesn't matter where we do it, it's just a test, so let's just do it here. So I'll do, add a, a second PUI, call it vocals on. Like that. Again, it's an action PUI. And we'll just do a marker. And the exact same script. So now, if I go back to before here, and we're here, make sure the vocals are on. Then when we run, it'll be something like this. And then back on, like that. So that's a way to automatically do it. But of course you could do something a little bit more interesting because this just took out like a sentence. But of, what if you want actually to put in something uh, it's like a little uh, a little drum part uh, or whatever. Well, then you can actually combine it with uh, the track cleaner, which can put in little loops. So I've done that uh, on this track instead. So if you load, load that one, um, you can see I've actually used, it has a little bit of a different logo. I've used the, the track cleaner here to put in a little loop section that does loops once. So that means if we if we play that, you can hear that we actually get this vocal section twice. So the idea is to cut the first one, the first loop one out, and just uh, and then bring it back in on the second one. So we get a little a little thing in there without the vocals. But just to make it interesting, let's just take out the instruments as well. So we only left with uh, the bass and uh, the drums. So then basically it's the same thing because the looping has already been done. So I just go into same editor and create a new cue point here, which is then actually an action point. Uh, and we'll call it uh, music or book. Let's just call it voc plus off like that and then over here it's like before and then also instruments which is instro like that and let's just say it 
set it to a marker only again, like that. So now when we get to the cue point, hopefully, when we go over here, we'll get something like this. And of course, then at some point we want to bring it back in. So let's go back here. Yes, it's true. So we let it run. Yes. So this is why we want to bring it in again, because that's where the loop ended. Yeah. So let's go into the POA. I, I did say again and do another one new. So we'll put in vocal. Sorry. Vocal and instruments on. Say, well, this is a action POI. Put in exactly the same script. Tell it to be in marker only. Save that. And now, in effect, we should have created a little thing where we have this little bar where it cuts out the vocals and the instruments and then brings, brings them back in without taking out any part of the track because we've added a little extra part of the track uh, using using the uh, the track cleaner, the loop part of the track cleaner. So now it's like this. A little drum bass part and then in. Like that and we're back to the regular track. So that's a way of, uh, of using the stems automatically using PUIs and also the track cleaner to put in a little bit extra loops so you can actually put in little bits uh, where you then manu manipulate the loops using the stems to create uh, interesting little remixes.